Hello, hello, good evening, good evening class. Hello, Daniel, Linda, Nancy, how's everything? How was your week? Your weekend? <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Uh, I, I go to you, see, do you, what is, como sería? The city will, will you reside when you start receiving in Cincinnati? <laughs> I went to the city where you reside or where you live. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, perfect. No, not Cincinnati, but yes, Isalco. Okay, yeah, Isalco is near where I live. It's basically, I don't know, depends. <laughs> if there's not traffic, it's, I don't know, maybe half an hour. But if there's traffic, it might be more. So, well, it's nice to see you guys. Linda, how's everything, Linda? What a nice um, poster you have on the wall. Hey, teacher. Hey. Hey, uh, what's, what's a long, long weekend? Okay, why? Yeah, because uh, the weekend, some Saturday and Sunday, I rest. I was resting. So it was a long weekend. Nice to hear that. So you rested. So you didn't do anything <laughs> but having fun. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Great. Did you go like, uh, did you go out? Like, I don't know, to any place? With your family? Not really. Not really. Uh, I didn't. I didn't go out. Uh, just here in the house. But uh, yesterday, uh, we we salimos a comer. We we eat out. <laughs> Out, yes. you, you can say we ate out because it's the past or we went to eat. We uh -huh. went to eat, yes. Yes, out, out, outside. Outside. Out. Yeah. Out. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. So you can say yesterday I went uh, to eat, you know, like that. Or, or yesterday I ate out. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. like, great to hear that. So we have... Rocio and Nancy, how's everything, Rocio? Hello, teacher. Hey, how's everything? Hello. Yeah, I listen to you. I also okay. listen to a, a dog barking okay. on the background. <laughs> yeah. Is that your dog? Uh, yes, solo dogs. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. I think you are a pet lover. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so how was your weekend? Mm, fine, very fine. <laughs> nice to hear that. Okay, we are gonna get started because today we are going to begin with unit number four okay and there are many activities that we need to cover so welcome to those who are on time norma nancy luis miguel rocio daniel and linda welcome uh, let me start by checking the attendance please so betty i think she's not here carlos mardoqueo not here daniel hello daniel I think Daniel has his mic off. Hi. I'm here, teacher. All I'm right. Here. Thank I you. have a problem with the connection. With your connection, but, okay. Yes, yes. But, uh, but okay. <laughs> Understandable. I totally understand that. Sometimes it's like that on my end. So hopefully today we're going to have an stable connectivity so we don't have problems. Okay, throughout the whole class. Jaime, is Jaime Alberto with us or not? 
I don't think he is. Okay, let's continue. Jose Miguel, is Jose connected? I don't think he's connected. Jose Oswaldo. Linda. Here, present teacher. Thank you so much, Linda. Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Thank you, Luis. Nancy. Present. Thank you, Nancy. I'm so sorry to hear about your, your um, situation. I know that when you feel sick, you know, it's not that easy. So I really hope you get better. Okay, Norma Carolina. Norma is around. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Norma. Olga. Olga is not connected yet. Okay, and then Rocio was just talking to me. Thank you so much. Sandra Marilisa, not yet. Senaida, not yet. Sylvia, maybe she's not connecting anymore. And Stanley, I don't know what happened to him. All right, guys, I'm going to start with the class right now because there are many things that we have to go over today. Today we are starting a new, I don't know if you can listen. Can you listen to me? Yes. Okay. I got a message from my end that it says your connectivity is slow, which I hate reading. Okay. So today we're going to start with unit number four. I know we didn't finish like complete the activity, uh, which was this one, the, the one I'm about to show you. But I just want to ask you like directly to give me one or two questions for this chart before we start with unit number four. And the purpose of this is that you guys use preposition of time. We have talked to, we have learned how to use on, in, and at. So let's start, let's see, um, Rocio, give me or ask me one question using, um, your own ideas, please. Pregunta sobre cualquier. Yes. Like using this chart, because as you can see here, you are going to ask your partners, your, you know, about activities they do at work. So you can ask me any question, please. <laughs> Where do you sleep in the house? Okay. No. Where oh, do you sleep? Where... No I like it. <laughs> Where do you sleep in the house? I sleep, I sleep <laughs> on. Okay. Okay. And how about if you ask me a question? Uh, like, for example, let me ask you one question first. Rocio, what do you do on Monday morning? at seven o'clock a.m. As you can see, I'm using a preposition. Uh, mm -hmm. Go ahead, please. Uh, what comes uh, to your mind? Uh -huh. AM, I eat. Perdón, escucho cortado. So you eat, yes, you eat. That is nice. <laughs> As you can see, that's eat one my question. Breakfast. So you eat your breakfast, okay. Okay, so that is the type of question that we need to ask. Okay, so what do you do? And then you can say the on Monday. No sé si solo soy yo, pero le escucho cortado. Permítame, es posible mi conexión, porque voy a poner un ratito la cámara. Las preguntas que queremos formular son que involucren prepositions of time, ¿ok? Entonces, el ejemplo podría ser el día y luego dicen la, cualquiera de estas opciones, in the morning, in the afternoon, eso podríamos hacer. Eh, hagamos algo, mándenme una pregunta al chat para ver cómo les han quedado una o dos de las, utilizando este formato. Ok, 
Okay, formulemos las preguntas. Eh, le voy a mandar una yo también, como, como ejemplo. Puedo leer la pregunta de Linda. What time do you? Me gusta también. Estaría bien. What time? La de Daniel tenemos. What do you do in the morning at 5 a.m.? También. Excelente. Estamos utilizando el preposition of time. La de Norma. What do you do in the morning after breakfast? Muy bien. Excelente. ¿Alguna otra pregunta más? What do you do on weekends? Okay, yes, why not? It, it, you know, you're using the preposition on. Okay, alguien tiene alguna pregunta de cómo formular la, la pregunta, la redundancia? He recibido la pregunta de... Uh, Linda, Sena, bueno, Senaida, Norma, Daniel. Linda, una vez más. Los demás preguntas. What time do you drink your first cup of coffee in the morning? I like that one. Hmm. I think in my case, I maybe at 6, 6 a.m. or something like that. How about you, Linda? What time do you drink your first cup of coffee in the morning? I think that around 7 a.m. 7 a.m., okay. But mm. later on, uh, two more cup, cup of coffee, later on that. <laughs> How many do you drink in the morning? At least, maybe two, two cups. Cups of coffee. Is there any specific type of coffee you like oh, drinking? Sorry. Uh, the first at 7 a.m. and the other one at 10, 10 a.m. Okay, and is there any specific type of coffee you like drinking? No, just in the morning. Okay, the, so mm -hmm. uh, at 7, at 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. So there isn't any type of coffee you like drinking, like let's say cafe listo, cafe, um, I don't know, musung or or Juan Valdez, <laughs> Juan Valdez, you know this oh. type. Of, uh, <laughs> he only he only drinks Starbucks. Starbucks, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, you know, you know. <laughs> I know it is, it is. Every day is so expensive. <laughs> hey, but they say that, uh, I mean, I'm not a coffee lover because I'd rather not, yeah, Juan Valdez, I'd rather not to, let's say, drink that much because I understand drinking coffee is not that healthy for you, for you. But I have friends who love drinking coffee and they say that they love, you know, going to these places, expensive places. And I say, why don't you just go ahead and get a musung and it's the same thing. But I said, they say, no, no, it's totally different. So I don't understand that. I'd rather have a cup of coffee with a little milk. That's it. And cheap, <laughs> not expensive. So, thank you for sharing. One, How about you, Daniel? One quarter of the coffee. 
<laughs> yeah, a quarter, you know, a quarter, <laughs> chip, <laughs> chip, no more. Yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. And then you get a pesadito de quesadilla, you know, as just right oh, there. Uh, help me, help me, to, help me to like. <laughs> exactly, exactly, correct. All right, guys, I think we are ready to move on to the next unit. And this unit is number four. This is the last week. I'm going to make a parenthesis right now to, to say something. Nos están pidiendo que ustedes se comuniquen con sus, este, con sus empresas, ¿verdad? Acuérdense que esta es la última semana y es necesario que ustedes envíen los documentos, nos dicen, para reservar cupo para la otra, para ya iniciar el siguiente módulo, para conservar la beca. Así que les, coment, les digo esto a medida de que, no, le voy a leer textualmente, cada, cada participante que se comunique con su encargado de RRHH, Human Resources, eh, para asegurarse que los documentos ya fueron enviados a INSAFOR, ¿verdad? Así que usted sabrá ahí lo, el proceso este, y los que, lógicamente, guys, depende de su participación, de sus notas, de su asistencia, ¿verdad? Los que están aquí, pues, son las personas que han mantenido esa consistencia, perseverancia, disciplina y resultados. Así que era un paréntesis, ¿ok? Así que ya les medio comuniqué ahí. Y hoy sí que comenzamos con unit number four. This is just incredible. Así que vamos a hacer lo siguiente, porque vamos a comenzar con unit number four, pero quiero saber ¿Qué saben de addresses and places? Okay, let's start listing and brainstorming places in town. A ver, and on the chat, mándeme all the places you know in town, general places. How many do you know? Places, a ver, vamos a list, brainstorm, vamos a hacer un brainstorming, que es una lluvia de ideas en el chat. Okay, let's leo, let's leo. How do you say, how do you say, I don't know, you tell me. Stadium, okay, the stadium, yes. Daniel, do you like going to the stadium to? Okay, mall center. Okay, you use, okay, center or shopping malls? Mall. Yes, I, I live in uh, five minutes, uh, ten, 10 minutes work. To my home to study Cuscatlan. Oh, that's cool. So you don't miss any any soccer match. Is there any specific? Um... I don't like the, I don't like the football. <laughs> you don't like soccer? Uh, no, oh. no, so. no, 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 mucho. <laughs> no, soy muy, not muy, much. Muy, not much. <laughs> not much. Not fan of that. Um, yeah. Only, only where, only where, and soccer girl go to. Work up. <laughs> you know, there's there there's um there's an expression that we say in English. Let me say it to you. When when pigs when pigs fly. Have you heard this? Mm, no. In other words. Uh, yeah, yeah, when pigs fly. <laughs> <laughs> when when pigs fly. Go and some the girl go to work up. <laughs> the work up, yeah. Well, when pigs fly means never. <laughs> what? <laughs> cuando, cuando vuelen los tuncos, los cerdos, never. They are never yeah. going to fly. Ya volaron dos veces en el 70 y en el 82. ¿Verdad que fueron? I heard that. Pero ahorita, I don't think they're gonna they're gonna fly again. <laughs> okay, no Norma says cathedral, okay? San Salvador, ca ca uh, yeah, cathedral. The cathedral, it's, it's, it's a nice place. I've been there like many times. So is the metropolitan cathedral is just, you know, 
a cool place to go. What else comes to your mind? Other places, how do you say alcaldía in English? How do you say hospital? How do you say terminal de buses? How do you say, there are many places in town. Road to the airport, okay, yes. Um, I wanna go to Ruta de las Flores very soon. I've never, I know it's like basically where I live, it's just nearby, but you know, I haven't gone to the entire route. I think I have to go. Central Park, yes, Rocio Central Park, like in, we have many, like in this case, we have, I love Parque Cuscatlan, you know, after they rebuilt the Parque Cuscatlan, it's, you know, it's a good one. And there are many others, exactly. Cuscatlan Park, Parque de la Familia, I think. <clears throat> what else comes to your mind? Now that you have mentioned some of these places in town, I want you to think about San Salvador City Hall. Yes, Linda, that's correct, La Alcaldía, right? Where um, now many, you know, things going around because of these changes that we just had. Okay, the City Hall. Okay, I was going to ask you the following. Can you please give me some prepositions of place that you know? What comes to your mind when you listen to the word prepositions of place, okay? What comes to your mind? Please start sending on the chat prepositions of place you know. If you don't know any preposition, it's totally fine. But if you know any, please don't hesitate in sharing it. Just go ahead and send it. We're gonna need some of them today. Prepositions of place. Let's see who's the first one who sends one preposition or more. Okay, Linda, thank you so much. We have add in on. Okay, what other prepositions do you know? Have you, how do you say in medio de? Hey, exactly, Daniel, you, you read my mind. Okay, thank you so much. Between, okay. <laughs> yes, <I was>, <laughs> between, okay. okay. We are okay. going to need that preposition on the next exercise. Between, between, okay. Between is another preposition that we very, uh, we use a lot. You know, we need it a lot to express ideas, okay. We're going to leave it like that. As of now, of course, there are any, there are more prepositions that we can say uh, between okay and then let's take a look at the following locations locations in town okay we have uh, a bank sport palace the sport palace is like uh, el palacio deporte sport palace we have or maybe it can be a stadium depending school mall Park, church, city hall, restaurant, Arrows Company, just a company which whose name is Arrows, and Book World. Of course, this is just as a reference because we have many other places in town we can list, right? What I want you to do is the following, okay? Because as you can see, we have two or three. I would say two streets and two avenues, right? We have Barrios Street and we have Roosevelt Street and we also have First Avenue and Second Avenue, okay? 
I, I don't know if you can see here. Let me just uh, <clears throat> go ahead and. So we have, this is the Barrio Street. We have the Roosevelt Street and we have two avenues, First Avenue and we have Second Avenue, okay? So the purpose is the following. The purpose is to locate, locate. What is locate? Vamos a localizar, vamos a ubicar these places or these um, locations, okay? In town. So for that, we are going to answer to the following questions. Tratemos de responderlas, si no, pues no se preocupe, yo le voy a ayudar, pero con el conocimiento previo que usted pueda tener, puede tratar de responder. Um, tenemos un bank una vez más, sport palace, school, school, mall, park, church, city hall, and we have the restaurants, Arrows Company, and the book world. Dos places. Me ayudan y hacemos, eh, esta vez necesito que abran sus micrófonos para participar dando sus respuestas a estas interrogantes. Tenemos que usar el map, ¿verdad? A, como ustedes consideran que ya les voy a ayudar a contestarla, tenemos three. One, two, three. Uh, Linda, me ayuda a leer la primera. Solo lea la, la, la pregunta, por favor. Uh, which street is the, is the restaurant on? Okay, thank you so much. Uh, Norma, can you read the number two, please? Which street is the city hall on? Exactly, thank you. Uh, Olga, what is number three? Okay, uh, Rocio, what's number three? Uh, which street is the park on? Exactly. So this word is pronounced street. Street. We do we do not say a street. We say street. Street. S -s -s only a sound and then street. Okay. Having said this, when we say which, it's it refers to specific. I'm hablado que okay, which is para specifics. Entonces, let's locate. Busquemos donde está el restaurant y Veamos cómo diríamos que está en tal, tal calle. ¿Cómo lo ubicarían? Okay. Let's start um, doing it, please. Let's take uh, three minutes, one minute per each. Veo, compartimos, a ver cómo les ha quedado. It is very probable that you guys find more than one way to express the idea, okay? Muy probable que haya más de una manera de cómo decirlo. Cuando las tengan listas, esta vez vamos a leerlas. This time we're gonna read them.
Okay, so we have Daniel who finished already. And let's see who else finished. Just I can see that somebody already sent an answer. Okay. Oh, that's Linda. Okay, thank you for sending it. We are, I can see you are using other prepositions as well. Okay. Okay, uh, Linda, you are going to start because you already sent the first one. Do me a favor, go ahead and ask the question and also respond it, please, at the same time. Go. Uh, eh, a quien, teacher? A monologue. <laughs> you yourself. <laughs> Ask the ah, question okay. and respond it, yes. Uh, ah, okay. Uh, which street is in the restaurant on? And mm -hmm. the answer, uh, it's on the Roosevelt Street in front to Arrow Company. Mm -hmm. Okay, in front, in front to Arrow's Company. Okay, I like it, being honest. I would, I would just change in front of. Instead of saying two, I would say in front oh, of. In front? In, in of. front of, yes. Okay, oh. that is one option, Linda. Thank you so much. And is there any other that you would like to share? Guys, do you have any other option besides that one? Alguien más escribió algo diferente? Anybody else? Something different or something similar? Um, right. Uh, the answer is the restaurant is on Roosevelt Street. Okay. Okay. So Daniel is saying that the restaurant is on the Roosevelt Street. Good. Uh, so you just said one street, right? And then, the, which is totally okay. Okay. And how about guys, if we use um, one the street and the avenue, how would it we how would it work or how would it be? How can we combine the street and and also the avenue? Who wants to try? Let's combine the street and the avenue. How do we say it then? Uh, the restaurant is in the corner of Roswell Street and first. Avenue. I like it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Or we can simply say the restaurant is on Roswell Street and First Avenue. Okay. I know you guys are adding okay. Daniel. Daniel is saying on the corner of, Linda is saying in front of, which is totally fine because those are preposition of place. However, if we only want to say the restaurant or is on Roosevelt Street and uh, First Avenue, fine. That is more than okay, okay? So, um, Daniel, please share number two, please. Okay, and the number two, which street is in the city hall on? The city hall is on Roosevelt Street. Okay, and if we combine two streets in the avenue, how do we say it? The city hall is on Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. Okay, Daniel, exactly. Like that is more than okay. As of now, I, I like it because you are specifying, okay, is on Second Avenue and Roosevelt Street, or we can just, you know, flip it over like, or I mean, I mean switch it and you say uh, it's on Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. Fine, that's it. And how about the last one? Who wants to, you know, collaborate? Who wants to do it? Number three, which street is in, is the park home? Who has it? Daniel, how did you write it? Uh, okay, which street is the park home? Mm -hmm. The park is between Barrios and Roseman Street. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, correct. That is that is totally fine. 
exactly we need to say we need to say between here so we have two options as you can see guys we have two options here and let me explain why do i mean by two options because we can say it's between let me it's between uh barrio street and roosevelt street or we can say it's between first avenue and second avenue okay so you have these two options is between es está en medio de la primera y la segunda avenida or you can say it's between barrio street and roosevelt street okay that is that is but the question but the question teacher is say street mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. yes uh, uh, the the question is can say which avenue is the park on is correct <laughs> yes yes i understand i understand your your point and it's and it's acceptable and i will not contradict that point because i would say <laughs> i would say yes you are right you are right it, because i i'm 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 as a, i'm i'm work as a driver <laughs> <laughs> and, and the driver the, uh, is uh, como decirle como como corista es necesario saberlo así de esa yeah. forma yeah en entre avenida en calle yeah 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 totally correct uh -huh. yes i under, i understand <laughs> we have okay. to send the feedback i will say i will say the following you know because I think we have to be more specific, right? And if I say only the street, then you might say, but yeah, but street and exactly where? Because if we take as reference uh, what La Juan Pablo, you know, it start from, you know, oof, all the way up until, the, until uh, exactly it's from the, what do you call and this? Finish, By finish that town. At the, and finishes at the, uh, or, or uh, how say, uh, Monza, exactly, exactly, right. like uh, the other boulevard, flowers, clock, flowers, clock. <laughs> yeah, el reloj de las flores. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. This, is the end of, this is the end of, of Juan Pablo, exactly. So, <laughs> you as a driver, and then let's, let's let's be realistic. I understand this question is just as let's say, um they're just giving us the idea but then in real life we need to be more specific right so street yeah. and then avenue if it is possible on the left if it is possible on the right or two blocks from here or if it is possible yeah. between or in front of this gas station or whatever comes you know uh whatever gives you a better idea right so i understand and and the question here is too general okay i was trying to be more uh-huh the, the, the place most popular is the motel. <laughs> <laughs> the most popular, the, the most popular. Do you know the motel? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you, do you know, what do you call this place? El oso. The bear. El oso. <laughs> <laughs> do you know the bear? Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay, yeah, maybe the ladies are saying these guys, okay, because nobody is saying anything. No, we're just kidding, girls, you know, we're just kidding. So, this is not serious. <laughs> ah, yeah, I don't see anybody. You're about being serial. So, being like, come on, come on, this is just okay. Uh, let's, let's, I've been there. No, I've never been there. Okay, look at this. We're gonna move on, we're gonna move on to the next activity. Ok, vamos a ir un little bit fast porque quiero que hagan ustedes su propio map en talk, that is idea. Así que vámonos directo a las prepositions que nos recomienda el manual. Solo tenemos tres. On, in, at, para hablar de, de places. Entonces utilizamos on para avenues en, y también para decir um, uh, on, the, on the street or on the corner, ¿verdad? Ahí nos quedamos. Eh, luego, in, cuando vamos a lugares más, más este, específicos, in San Salvador, in El Salvador, in the park, and in the neighborhood, ¿verdad? Y ya cuando nos vamos así a at, este, no son lugares tan generales, si no vamos a irnos a un, la, si vamos a explicarlo sería como vamos de lo general a lo más específico, ¿sí? Y at viene a ser ya, si es posible, en 
tal lugar exacto, ¿verdad? A ser más específico. Por eso que tenemos at the meeting room, at work, exactamente, at this bank. Son lugares más específicos. Entonces, así lo estamos aprendiendo en este manual. Y me gustaría que tomemos unos cinco minutos y veamos cómo nos quedan las siguientes, las siguientes statements, las siguientes oraciones. Son seis. ¿Cuál creen ustedes? Which one do you think fits best? ¿Qué, ¿Cuál que creen que ustedes que en casa vienen esos cinco? Tomémonos un, unos cinco minutos, leamos y las ubicamos si tienen sus manuales. Luego las discutimos.
Okay, when you finish and you're ready, please like send a message saying I finish so we can start sharing. I'm not finished because I have a. ¿Cómo se dice? Tengo una duda. I have a doubt. Doubt. I, got, I have a doubt le voy a for the number six. Vale, le voy a mandar, I have a doubt. Le voy a decir cómo se pronuncia duda. Así, miren, doubt. Ahí se lo mandé. I have a doubt. Porque, y le voy a explicar algo más. I have a doubt. Doubt. La, la, la B ahí no se pronuncia. Es lo mismo cuando decimos deuda. Es así, mira, y se lo acaba de mandar para no confundir las dos palabras porque son confusas. A veces que el uh, debt es, es deuda, debt y doubt es duda, doubt, doubt. La V es doubt. Sil silent. Doubt. We don't pronounce the B. Ahí no silent. Duda. Es, es silent, es mute. Ok. Es, uh -huh. Ok. Ya llegamos okay. a las seis entonces, Daniel. Mm -hmm. Llegamos a las seis en orden. Vamos a la número uno. ¿Quién le gustaría compartir? Raise yeah. your hand. Raise your hand to give me number one. Okay, Olga. Thank you so much. Go ahead, please, Olga. Tell, tell us. Okay. The number one um, for me is I work in the bank that is on First Avenue. Okay, yes. I don't know if it is my connectivity, but I heard you a little bit, um, you know, your voice was breaking up a little bit, but yes, it's on, right? So you said, um, I work in the bank that is on First Avenue. Yes, that is correct. Daniel, number two, please. The factory is located, located, located in La Libertad. In La Libertad, yes. In for places like that, right? In La Libertad. Okay, good. Number three. Thank you, Linda. Number three. We see you at the training room or in the cafeteria. Hmm. Okay, in the cafeteria. Do you guys have the same in the cafeteria? Or that, is there any other? answer here. Sí, acabo de estar viendo que me da un error aquí la conexión. Eh, les comentaba, con la número tres, eh, ¿tienen alguna respuesta diferente? O, o, porque Linda dijo, I see you at the training room or in the cafeteria. ¿Alguna modificación o nos quedamos con esa? ¿Qué tienen ustedes? Yo... A mí me quedó como at. ¿Cuál? At training room, la number three. At the training room. ¿Listo? Or mm -hmm. at the cafeteria. Exacto, exactamente. Las dos quedarían con at. Las dos quedan con at. We see you at the training room or at the cafeteria. Porque es más specific. Así que lo dejamos at, at, a las dos. Ok. Eh, estamos bien. At, at. Eh, hagamos esa modificación. Y aseguramos que quede at, at, a las dos. Veamos la número cuatro. Nancy, ¿le gustaría compartir num number four? Nancy. Sí. 
si se me escucha bien, porque creo que no me están escuchando. Ah, oh, ok, Nancy. No, 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 está bien, no hay ningún problema, Nancy. Puede mandarla al chat, entonces, si gusta. Vaya, démosle. Entonces, type, escriba como marciano. Go ahead. Dice que le puso la 4, le puso at. Qué específica usted. No manda así la, la completa. Number four. Ana works, dice, in the company that is a town. Hmm. Ok, ¿alguien tiene alguna respuesta diferente? A town. I have a um, own town. Own town. Hmm. Alguien más tiene una respuesta diferente. Own town is more for the streets and avenues. On, on, on. On is more for that. Entonces no podríamos usar on. Hay una preposición que es, que es más para, para, si leen las opciones que tenemos, hay una que se aproxima a town. Veamos. ¿Cuál será esa? Ok, Rocío, nos ayuda entonces. Ya tenemos la respuesta. Leala, please. Read, read it, please. Ok. Ana works in the company that is, that is in town. Mm -hmm. That is in, vamos a regalar, is in the town. Parece la propiedad es in. Es como decir in the neighborhood, ¿verdad? Es la, la vecindario, la, la, el el lugar de origen, donde el town, que es como el pueblito, eh, eso, in town, in the town sería. Ok, number five, ¿cómo nos queda? My relatives, ¿quién le gustaría compartir de lo que no han compartido? Eh, no sé, Norma, number five. Ok, my relative go to the mall that is on Roosevelt Street. Exactly, that is correct. Nos queda como on, ¿verdad? Porque es un Roosevelt Street y la street lo vamos a poner con on. Muy bien, y la última, Daniel, usted dijo que tenía alguna pregunta. Sí, porque no, no encontré qué, qué, qué proposición ponerle ahí. Uh -huh. Porque okay. pienso que ahí está completa. <laughs> ok, I like, I like what you're saying. <laughs> Alguien... <laughs> Escribió algo diferente. ¿Alguien tiene alguna este, respuesta diferente? ¿O están de acuerdo con lo que Daniel comparte? Teacher in the office. Tell him what we are in the office. A the okay. meeting room with everybody. Me gusta. Me gusta su creatividad y lo que está agregando, porque sí tiene sentido. Eh, sin embargo, el propósito aquí es solo poner preposiciones. Entonces significa que vamos a mandarle feedback al que hizo el manual, porque él la dejó completa. <ríe> sí, Daniel tiene razón, porque ahí at no tendrían que verlo puesto. Tendrían que haber dejado at. <ríe> Ya sí. sabía. <risa> yeah, it's okay. complete, it's completed, si está completa. O, 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 pudiera, o pudiera, ir, pudiera ir allí. Tell him that we are ready at the meeting room with everybody. Yeah, yeah. Estamos... Es, eso, eso está bien, al igual que lo que dijo, no sé si fue Linda o Norma que compartió. Eh, no escuché bien, me confundo esos, esos, no sé quién fue de ellas dos, creo que Norma fue, ¿verdad? que dijo y le agregó lo del office, o sea, esas ideas están bien, pero entonces no estaríamos siguiendo la instrucción que le pongamos a la profesión del place, ¿verdad? Así que la number six, Daniel, it's completed. We don't need to add anything else. No necesitamos agregar nada más. Okay. Eh, vamos, así que vamos a leerlas por medida de check pronunciation. Me gustaría que las volvamos a leer todas. Y qué tal si me ayudan dos nada más. Para leer de la 1 a la 3 y lo otro me lee de la 4 de la a la 6. Vamos a elegirlos. Zenaida, no le he escuchado, Zenaida. Usted me lee de la 1 a la 3. Y luego, después de Zenaida, escuchamos a. No sé, la verdad, ¿a alguien más le gustaría leer, solo leer. 
Luis Miguel, está Luis Miguel conectado. La oportunidad de Naida para que se vindicate. Vamos a Naida, lea las todas. Ok, good evening. Uh, I work in the bank that is on the first avenue barrio street. Their factory is located in La Libertad. We see you at training room or at the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. Continue. Continue. You're doing it. Okay, okay. Okay. Anna works. Anna works in the company that is in Aquí se dice tow. In the town. In the town. Pongámosle in... el, el artículo D. The. T H. -E. Okay. In the town. Okay. Anna works in the company that is in the town. In the town. My relative go to the. My relatives go to the mall that is on the Roosevelt. A street. It solo es on Roosevelt Street. On Roosevelt Street. Y no le ponemos da. Suena un poquito awkward. Solo digamos on Roosevelt Street. Y la última. Okay. Uh, tell him that we are that the meeting room with everybody. Him that we are at the meeting room with everybody. Good. Thank you so much. Y vamos a hacer la actividad que es donde ustedes van a construir su propio mapa y van a, en su cuaderno van a explicarle a sus compañeros de algunos locations que, te, que encuentran, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, para antes de pasar a esta actividad, me gustaría pues eh, tomar la asistencia para que así ya nos quedemos trabajando en esta actividad. Va a tomar un, un par de minutitos. Veo que se han agregado otras personas que no estaban al principio. Entonces, Betty no nos acompaña, Carlos Mardoqueo no está, Daniel sigue con I'm nosotros. Here. Thank you, Jaime. No, ¿verdad? José Miguel. No, ok. José Oswaldo. No. Uh, Linda. Present, teacher, present. Thank you, Linda. Creo que mi conexión no está, no, it's not the best. Luis Miguel. Present. Thank you. Nancy. Present. Thank you, Nancy. Olga. Present, teacher. Okay. Uh, next one. Rocío. Present, teacher. Thank you, Rocío. Sandra Marilisa. No, Sandra Senaida. Present teacher. Ok, Silvia en Stanley. Ok, no, no están ellos y vamos a... Yo, eh, teacher, me faltó. No, ya la, ya, ya ¿Me la mencioné. No la mencioné. Yo le puse no. aquí. Sí. No dije linda, que me imaginé que usted era linda, dije, le voy a poner ahí asistencia. No, no, no. Ok. Sí, tiene razón, ya, ya le marcamos. Thank you so much for the reminder, ok. Ok, bueno, entonces, guys, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Uh, si vamos, nos vamos al manual. Uh, create your own maps with your work, uh, with you, workplace on it and the places. Entonces, pensemos en nuestro, creemos un mapa. Sí, aquí les pide que, que sea con su lugar de trabajo, ¿verdad? Y los lugares, edificios que tiene, que está rodeado y que lo expliquemos. Entonces, um, lo vamos a mostrar, así que la, 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 la cámara va a ser muy necesaria que la, para mostrarlo. Y pues lo van a explicar, ok. Podríamos empezar a decir, hi class, this is my, my map. Aquí está la oficina de mi jefe, que me está siempre ahí, split on my neck, no sé. Y 
podemos explicarlo, pero va a caer a su, a su es, creatividad. Le voy a dar unos, creo que considero que unos cinco minutos para hacerlo y estos cinco para preparar lo que van a decir para explicarlo, estaría muy bien. Ok, entonces comencemos, son las nueve y uno, a las nueve y diez, once, comenzamos a compartir. Si tienen ahí colores, pues mejor, lo hacen más visible para mostrar en la pantalla. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? ¿Lo que van a hacer? Vaya, pues entonces manos a la obra. En una página en blanco, todo, todo. Si alguien quiere hacerlo, por ejemplo, con los lugares o los ¿qué? edificios que hay alrededor de, la, de donde trabaja, pues hágalo también, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, a la par o, o, o enfrente de mi empresa está tal banco, ¿verdad? O está esa tal este, empresa también. Usted sabrá cómo lo quiere hacer. Teacher. Qué linda. Teacher. Yes, Linda. How do you say redondel? Roundabout. Es un roundabout. Ya le voy a mandar. Algunos dicen, uh, ese es el más común que le voy a mandar ahorita. Roundabout. Roundabout es el más común. Ok. Es el roundabout. Uh -huh. Roundabout. Roundabout. Ok, thanks.
¿Cómo van? ¿Necesitan unos minutos más o estaríamos listos para compartir sus uh, mapas? Need more time. Linda, you ready? I need more time. Okay, okay. No, no, teacher. Okay. I'm not. Okay, no problem. Is there a only question? Uh -huh, go how ahead. Can I say, how can I say uh, a la par de? Next to. Next to. Next to. Next to. Podemos decir besides también. Besides, ahí le mandé la dos. Y según la brigada aérea, se con air brigades. Brigades. Brig, uh -huh, brigade. Uh -huh. Brigade. Uh -huh. Se con air brigade. Ajá, uh -huh, está bien. Ok. Uh -huh. Perfecto. I'm ready. Thank you. All right. Awesome. Vamos a darle unos minutos más a las personas que faltan. Ok, unos tres minutitos más creo que sería. Ok. Uh -huh. Teacher. Let's go ahead. Uh, teacher. Mm -hmm. I listen to you. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Eh, para mí es bien difícil eh, explicarle la localidad del sitio donde trabajo mm -hmm. porque es, como, es al final de la carretera, pues es el hotel es ya, ¿cómo decirlo? El corte, ya después del hotel no pasa más nada. Entonces, no sé si está bien que le describa eh, parte de lo que hay dentro, por ejemplo, el restaurante principal, la piscina. I like blog. it. I like okay. it. I like it, exactly. Puede decir, is the hotel is at the end of the, dice el nombre de la calle, y luego se pone a decir, in the hotel, there is, blah, blah. De hecho, esta parte que ustedes van a necesitar utilizar eh, viene en la siguiente lección, pero esa es una, como un, estamos ahorita dándoles un reto porque sé que no les hemos enseñado a decir there is, there are, y lo, seguramente lo van a necesitar, pero eh, como puedan ustedes, con su uh, conocimiento previo y con lo que ustedes estén retando ahorita, pues explíquenlo, luego hablamos de eso. Así que usted puede hacer eh, explicación de lo que hay inside the hotel. Está bien, Zenaida. Voy a darles entonces unos cinco minutos más para que afinen y lean una vez más lo que van a decir. A las 17 comenzamos.
antes de comenzar a compartir, lo que quiero que hagamos es que vayamos a los rooms y le contemos a nuestros compañeros lo que hemos escrito y nos ayudemos a dar feedback el uno al otro, alguna observación que le podamos hacer al compañero eh, sería de mucho provecho. Así que quiero hacer esa parte para que terminen de afinar lo que van a compartir. Habemos pues seis conectados y voy a asignarlos en, en, en parejas. Que si alguien se queda solito, ahí voy a llegar yo a ver cómo nos organizamos. Ok, es que solo les voy a dar unos tres minutitos quizás para que le lean y luego escuchan lo que su compañero ha escrito y luego lo vamos a compartir. Ok, um, así que guys, aquí vamos. Entonces, Olga, se va a ir con Zenaida, Daniel, Norma, y luego uh, Linda, no sé si va a estar conectado Luis Miguel o Nancy, a ver cómo lo ubicamos. Nancy, ¿está lista para compartir con Linda? Nancy. Quizás no. Linda, y creo que Luis Miguel tampoco está con... Hola. Hello. Le va a poder compartir. Si no, Linda, yo le escucho. Le escucho okay. a usted. ¿Sí está lista, Nancy? Ok. Adelante. <coughs> Hola. Hola, Nancy, hola. 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 Sí, me escucha. Sí. Ah, ok. Si sí. sí, gusta, inicie, inicie usted. Hizo el mapa. Nancy. Hola. Soy el mapa, soy el mapa, soy el mapa. No, linda. Yo le voy a escuchar a usted, ¿ok? Vamos, linda, porque okay. es... Hey. Uh -huh. ¿Y, y, y, ¿Y cómo le muestro mi mapa o qué? ¿O cómo? Claro, quiero ver su mapa. Puede ver esta obra de arte. Sí, ya me fijé. No se aprecia, ya. ya vi el roundabout ahí. Ajá. Roundabout. Ajá, I lo... don't, I'm not sure if paseo general escalón is a street or is an avenue. I don't know. You say, you, you, I think it's an avenue. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You say the name. Okay. Entonces... Uh, my job or my work is on the Paseo General Escalón uh, next to Penthouse Building and in front of Good Price. Okay. I don't, just okay. like okay show show the picture show the map i want to see it i i know what you're talking about mm. Mm, okay where's your job where is it i know i can oh i can see la jerusalén avenida jerusalén uh, okay all right here uh, okay mm -hmm. okay see ya ya me vi que donde es I study, yo estudié en el ICC, es el que está en, justamente del redondel, este, donde está el 4020, <ríe> redondel, Luceiros. Ah, usted va arriba, 4020, ajá. Ya, ya, beba, es, <ríe> sí, está. 
que hacer. Usted ahí se quedaba, tiche. Ya, ya ve que usted sí sabe lo que es, ¿verdad? Ay, guachillo. Ya ve, cuando, cuando, estaba, cuando estaba estresado de los parciales, ya no iba ahí, me quedaba ahí para. para iba, a ver, iba a ver quiénes estaban ahí. Bueno, well, I like it. ¿Qué? Entonces, vamos. Voy a ir a rezar con los demás compañeros. O usted la voy a designar okay. con otro grupo para que escuche a los otros también y la comparta. Okay. Well, good. ¿Qué es UNES? UNES es unidad ecológica salvadoreña. Ah. Uh -huh. Qué chido. Y ahí, este, bueno, le puedo poner. Porque como está en medio, no tiene esquina. <ríe> Ni... Ah, bueno, están enfrente todas las casas, ¿verdad? No hay así como empresas, digamos. Ajá, porque podría decir is on front with um, house in front of mm -hmm. in front of uh -huh. the ammo in front mm -hmm. of in front of the house the house a city chair exactamente in front of a house y podemos okay. decir mm -hmm. sí okay thank you <laughs> Compartieron las dos, las dos han compartido. Sí. Voy a, voy a, ok, entonces voy a, este, nada más rezar con los demás y luego los llamo un minuto más quizá. Ok. okay. Okay, bueno, I'm looking forward to listening to, to your maps and to watching and to looking at them. Así que quiero que muestren sus obras de arte, así full color y luego nos comenten, ¿verdad? Y así que si los, ya vamos a ver dónde están para irlos a buscar, y vamos a caer cerquita. Así que, Zenaida, ya sabemos que nos va a llevar de cámara, así que. Who wants to start? ¿Quién quiere comenzar? Zenaida, yo la veo bien motivada. Dele, adelante. Go ahead, Zenaida. Adelante. Ok. Hotel de Cameron is on the road. Los Cóbanos. Santa Águeda. Um, Acajutla, Sonsonate. Is finished the, the street. Inside the hotel, we have six restaurants. But between we have between uh, the main pool and office, the supervisor and boss, 
we have the main restaurant, Chuck Balan. In corner left, we have block number two on the room. In corner, in corner right, we have block number one on the room. Next to the main pool, we have the Barakan alcoholic beverage. Only that picture. Alcoholic beverage, okay, Daniel? <laughs> no, you don't like to. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Hi, <laughs> Daniel. Alcoholic beverage. Yes. All, all you can drink. <laughs> all you can drink is free. <laughs> all you can drink. Solo quería, solo quería hacer una, una modificación. Vamos a decir, it's at the end of the street. Que dijo is at, at the end at the, of the, the street. Ajá, street. Ok. Voy a decir at the finish, así que queda bien. Así lo demás, all good. Ya me imaginé ahí el okay. restaurant. Thank you so much. Who's next? Vamos a escuchar entonces a Olga. Is... Ok, teacher. Uh, I work in UNES. Is Unit Ecologic Salvadorians. UNES in on, is on Calle Camagüey and Passage 6 G, G between Park Jumuri and Half of the Neighborhood. The company is a is in a neighborhood of San Salvador in front of the houses. Y, y muestro mi mapa. Mm. <laughs> okay, nice. So yeah. your your workplace is the one that is in green, el que está en verde? Es el parque. Ah, ah. Ah, okay, nice. Unes, never heard of that. So, this is my office. This is house. This is Calle Camagüey. And this is, perdón, pasaje, pasaje 6G. And esta es Calle Camagüey. Ok, good, thank you. Sabe que para es lo más común en inglés es decir blocks, uh, blocks o streets, ¿verdad? Uh, blocks. Blocks, en uh, uh, el street. Uh -huh. este, bueno, está muy bien. Good, thank you so much, Olga, for sharing. Ok, thank you. Ah, Pris. en vez de pasaje. Ajá, uh -huh. blocks, hicimos el número. Ok, gracias. Uh -huh. Ok, um, so, next one. Zenaida, quería mostrar su dibujo. Adelante. Mostró, quiero ver su obra de, de, de arte. No soy buena dibujando. I don't see the pero... rest. I don't see the alcoholic okay. beverages right there, Zenaida. Come on. It's here. I don't see it. Alcoholic beverages. Where? It's okay. Thank you so much. It, it, it... Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, inside the inside the hotel, all the restaurant is all you all you can eat and all you can drink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Good. I think I'm a, I'm gonna go pretty soon. You know, I've been to the discotheque and it's really cool. You know, <laughs> after. So for now, for now, it's closed the discotheque. Only a show, uh, guys and girls dance, three show, mm. no more because it's for COVID. Mm -hmm. Oh, then I, I don't want to go there anymore. When it's open, then I, I'll go. <laughs> so thank you so much for, <laughs> for the information. So next one, let's see. Linda, go Linda, share with us, please. Okay, uh, my workplace is on on the 
on the Paseo General Escalón, uh, two blocks up to the Cristo Redentor Church, next to Penthouse Building, in front of Good Price. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good Price. <laughs> good, good Price. Mm -hmm. And this is my map. Your map, good. Okay, I can see it, I imagine. Two blocks, two blocks up mm -hmm. to Masferes Roundabout. Roundabout. Okay. roundabout. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Where Funes. Yeah. No. Yeah, you can say that. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Understandable. Where Funes crashed. <laughs> Crash, yes. Crash to Ferrari. Is Ferrari or Ford? Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, the, the Ferrari. I think it was a Ferrari. Yes. Okay. Uh, Norma, go please. Thank you, Linda. Go, Norma. Okay. It's my map. <laughs> I work in the furniture. It's on Paseo Escalón Street. Is next to a Cristo Redentor Church in front of Good Price between a Terra Alta next to the Campestre Towers, opposite corner the shopping center Campestre in front in front to the Pampa Restaurant. Okay. Thank you, in front of Pampa restaurant. Nice. So do you guys work in the same place? Linda and Norma, same place? Yes, teacher. Okay, the same. same place. Place. All right, I can see. Good, thank you so much for providing that information, Norma. Mañana les cae la renta por ahí. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Is the other job, teacher? <laughs> That's my other job. That's my full-time job, you know? <laughs> okay. Uh, escuchamos a quien nos hace falta de todos. Nancy nos va a compartir. No? You can't talk? Okay. Bueno, escuchamos a Olga. Uh, todos compartimos ya, ¿verdad, Daniel? Sí, ¿verdad? Carto yo. Démosle, Daniel. Sí, es que se me okay. siente raro que el, el airport no lo hemos escuchado. My, my work is JJ Company, is near to International Airport, next to Second Air Brigade. In front of the, the company is the okay, landing truck. O pista de aterrizaje eh, de International Airport. Oh, it's, Daniel. It's, it's all, it's just all. <laughs> wow, Daniel, thank you so much. Uh, so that, that's all, but I see todo esto, that's all. O that is, all. that is it, or that's all. Se decide. Nice, that's all. Thank you, Daniel, for sharing. Brigade, brigade, la brigada is brigade, 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 brigade. 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 thank you, so Daniel, that's good, hey, me faltó, that's la S, that's all, let me see, okay, so thank you so much for sharing, guys, appreciate, gracias por sus dibujitos, guárdenlos por ahí, okay, siempre acostumbro quedármelos, y ahí tengo el montón, de siempre que hemos hecho esta actividad, Eh, no, con, con este grupo para mí es nuevo, la verdad, y en Safor también, pero otras sesiones. I like this topic because the students become very creative, you know, making their own maps. And I can tell, I, I just saw your maps and they're good. Nancy lo está mostrando por ahí, Nancy, muéstralo. Nancy. I can barely see it. No lo logro ver bien. Okay, good. Ya vi que está la X. I think is your workplace, right? Uh, I can barely see it, but thank you so much for doing it. Me gustaría que hiciera la descripción y la mandar al chat para ver lo que escribió y que le va a compartir. Oh.
Ok. Bueno, thank you so much, guys. Vamos a continuar. El tiempo va un poco rápido. Nos falta una, un par de actividades que hacer. Eh, vamos a ir directamente a la otra página. Ok. Y esta será la última para esta sesión. We're going to um, role play a conversation. Ok. Y esa actividad conecta a la, la siguiente clase que es para mañana. El uso de there is, there are. A lo mejor algún, alguien ya lo conoce. There are. We have is there in form of pregunta. Vamos, I'm going to read it. Let's pay, pay attention, please, and then you're going to help me to, to read it. Will and Tanya. Okay. Hello. Can you help me? Y vamos, miren, guys. Can you help me? Where is the Mulberg building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's Down Street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. Scroll up a little bit. Uh, okay, oh, I'm sorry, too much like this. Okay, um, let me read it again. There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay, me gustaría que ustedes me ayudaran a leerlo y si alguna pregunta de pronunciación o meaning, pues también que las hagan. Tenemos a Will y tenemos a Tania en, en parejas. Vamos a leerla ahorita aquí, así para ir avanzando. Vamos a escuchar a Will, Daniel y luego a Tania va a ser Olga. Ok. Ok, teacher. Ok, okay teacher. Uh, hello. Can you help me? What is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training center of on the building between Main and King Street. Have some interviews there. Thank you. Again, bye bye. Good, 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 good. Nice virtual class for you guys. Good pronunciation, la verdad. I'm so, I'm so amazed. Your pronunciation is really good. I like it. Um, I would like you to switch roles. Vamos a hacer un switch roles ustedes mismos. Uh, Olga, ahora va a ser este Will. Okay? Y Daniel, el otro rol. Go ahead, please. Okay. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to, to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's Town Street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you some sometime, Elsie. Elsie, is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Good. All right. Thank you, Olga and Daniel, for reading. Appreciate that. Esta palabra la vamos a decir else. Else. Como que si allí no hay la última E. Solo decimos Else. 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 Y luego Else. lo demás, interviews or interviews. Interviews or interviews. 
Este es here, ¿verdad? Entonces, podemos pensar que esa H es una, una, una J. Y suena bien si decimos here, 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 here. Ok, muy bien. Vamos Ahora, a hacer una consulta. Eh, la palabra there are, por sí sola, porque aquí no te dice, por lo menos en la segunda donde habla Tania, no te preocupes, eh, son cuatro edificios. ¿Sería así la traducción? There are, no es, no es son, there are. Hace referencia a, solo significa hay, así. Hay, pero de, hay, hay de haber. Hay, 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 hay. O sea, no te preocupes, hay cuatro edificios. ¿Cuál es Exacto. el Exactamente. There are significa hay y también este there is significa hay. Pero está el otro que es there is. Aquí lo han, lo han usado en forma de pregunta. Is there, ¿verdad? Pero la forma, mm. la forma este, afirmativa es there is y también significa hay. Ah, la diferencia radica en el, en el número, ¿verdad? Porque el there is es singular y el otro es eh, plural. Entonces, plural. los dos significan hay. Hay. Hay de haber, ¿verdad? There are four okay. buildings. Hay cuatro. Mm -hmm. El otro que quería okay. mencionar. Good, Daniel, for asking. Thank you so much. El which, aquí está otra vez which. Miren, which, hemos dicho que which is for a specific, ¿verdad? Aquí, cuando, la otra cuestión del which es cuando tenemos opciones, ¿verdad? Tengo dos celulares, yo digo which one, which one do you want? ¿Cuál de estos? Which one, which one, ¿cuál de esos? Which one do you need? Which one, ¿cuál? ¿Cuál de estos? Ok, ¿alguna otra pregunta que tengan? Anything else? Any other question you might have? No? Are we fine? Entonces, escuchemos a una, one pair more. Zenaida nos ayuda. Elija a alguien que le ayude a leer, por favor. Uh, Norma, can you help me, please? ¿Qué es Zenaida? Uh, okay. I am with. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? A uh, girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training center on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interview there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Lovely, lovely. Great pronunciation, girls. Switch, please. Switch roles. Hello, can you help me? There is the Melbourne build, building. I, I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on the main street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interview there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Bye. Me gustaría que se escucharan para que se dieran cuenta lo, lo, lo clarito que se les escucha. Good job, good job. Lo hacen muy bien. Great, great job. My ear tells me that you guys are doing a great job. Okay? Así que congrats, girls. Congrats for that pronunciation. Entre más practicamos, más sentido tiene, ¿verdad? Quería hacer una sugerencia en este. Eh, lo, lo leemos, I know it. 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 
no como way. que si aquí hay una U, una U que está metida no ahí. I know it. I know it. I know it. Ok, este, ese sonido existe en inglés, es un sonido intruso. Si lo buscamos, así aparece en fonología, pero es I know it. Como cuando decimos how are you, how are, how are, how are you, how, aquí miren, how are, how are, no decimos how are you, ¿verdad? Decimos how are, aquí hay un sonido de U, que es un sonido intruso, eso existe en fonología, how are you, I know it, esos son conectores, solo quería mencionar eso. I know it, para no decir I know it, se escucha un poco feo, I know it, digamos I know it, I know it, ok, y lo demás pues suena chivo, sounds really good, to me sounds really good, ok, so thank you so much for that, quiero pedirles lo siguiente, eh, vamos a irnos directamente a los últimos, última actividad para este día y es responder a esas preguntas, esas son con base a la, a la, la conversación, son tres, así que tomémonos unos seis minutos, dos por pregunta, para leer y luego la respondemos. Read the conversations, I, conversation again to answer the questions, ok? Go. Yo creo que ya está listo, ¿verdad, Daniel? Finish? Mm, finish, teacher. Okay, good. How about the other ones? Are you guys ready? Please confirm when you are ready so we can keep going.
Ok. Vamos a comenzar a leer las preguntas y luego las respondemos, guys. Uh, we have three questions and I want you to read them for me and then we are going to answer them. Ok. Uh, number one. Uh, Daniel, please read the question number one and give me your answer, please. Ok. Number one. How many men, how many men buildings are there? There are four buildings. Okay. Do you guys agree with Daniel? ¿Están de acuerdo con Daniel? Yes. Okay. All right. So do I. Yo también. Next. Number two. Let's see. Uh, Olga, number two. Okay, teacher. Where is the building where we want to locate it? The answer for me is it's down the street on the left side. Okay. Norma, do you agree with that answer? I'm not sure, teacher. I to the building on Main Street. Okay, uh, let's see. Linda, do you agree with the quest with the answer Olga gave? I'm not sure, teacher, but maybe podría ser there is on the main street. No, I'm not. No, no. No, no, no suena. Just on the main street. Mm, actually, no. actually, Olga is right. Yes. <laughs> Olga is correct. So, Olga is correct. Esa es la respuesta. Ok. Entonces, solo okay. decir, yes, I agree. Si están de acuerdo, ¿verdad? Yes, I agree. Si la respuesta es, is, is down the street on the left side. Esa es la respuesta más apropiada. Y vemos la última. Este, Linda, contéstenos la última, please. And give us the answer for it. How many training centers are there? Where are they? There are a lot of training centers. Just like, solo eso contesté. Where are they? Where are they? ¿Dónde están mm. ahí? Okay, who has, who, who has the answer? Where are they? Where are they? Uh, where are they? Uh, where are they? They are in the between. Main and King Street. Okay, they are on. Okay, exactly. They are on. It's on the building between the Main and King Street. Okay, good. Exactly. That's the answer. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Mañana vamos a estudiar el There Is There Are. Así que por ahora pues nos vamos a quedar hasta aquí. Solo le voy a tomar la la este, asistencia veo que Nancy compartió su texto my work is in San Bartolo y lo pongo at the stop better known as the free zone mm. okay I don't know where that is honestly but I, I think I've, I've you know gone through San, San Bartolo okay entonces let me check the attendance class y nada más recordarles sobre el, el aviso que, que hice en paréntesis, la importancia de hablar con sus human resources for documentation, ¿verdad? Y agradezco a los que han estado complement, completando las actividades y pues ahí esta semana pues ya finalizamos el módulo, ¿verdad? Increíble, incredible, time really flies. Y comenzamos con la attendance, ahora es este May the 3rd. The, the day of the cross, if you're Catholic, ¿verdad? No sé si te, if there are Catholic people here. No. No, yes. right? I'm yes. Here. Okay. Yes. You are Catholic. I have the, I have the cross in my, in my garden. Okay, your garden. Okay. Yes. Um, well, my family is Catholic and we have done that as well. That cross is just, I'm looking at the, the cross, which is right here on my right side okay so 
uh, let me check the attendance. And this is uh, May the third. Like I said, is it's let's see, I don't find it. One second, where is it? Okay, right here. One second, guys, it's loading. Here we go. Okay, Betty, now here, Carlos Mardoqueo, Daniel. I'm here. Talking to me, good. Jaime, not in here. Jose Miguel, not here. Jose Oswaldo, not in here. Linda is Linda. Present teacher. Thank you, Linda. And then Luis Miguel, I think he's connected. Present, present. Thank you, Luis Miguel. Nancy Guadalupe. Nancy is, Nancy is there. I know Nancy is uh, not that good. And then but is here. Norma is here. Olga. Present. Thank you, Olga is here. Rosa, Rosa, Rocío is here. Sandra Nahir, Senaida. Present teacher. Thank you, Senaida. And Maria, Quintanilla, and Estani de Jesus. Okay. Class, thank you so much for your um, discipline and responsibility and commitment above all. Have a nice rest of the day. Try to rest as much as possible and see you guys tomorrow if God permits it. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye.